Hello there, Michael Neff here, Director of Gear Sports, and right now we're going to do a video on shaft deflection. It's the fifth video in a series of seven on the shaft that we're doing. And uh, today I've actually chose to do a little different, on this video I've chose to do uh, Lexi Thompson and her brother Curtis Thompson. Lexi obviously is a LPGA star, Curtis is a young budding uh, star on the web.com tour and uh, really really good action really good golf swing and um, uh, I can see him playing on the PGA Tour soon um, anyways I I picked these guys example because I captured them both at the PGA show two years ago and they're using the exact same club so um, it's an 8.5x uh, it, this was a fly Z uh, eight eight and a half degree x flex 45 inch driver and um since and they basically hit the exact same club so lexi's at 102 miles per hour basically um again we see this kind of from the previous videos you kind of see um kind of a lower grip speed her brother curtis has a much higher grip speed but he's also got a lot more club head speed but they swing very differently and um they uh but we're talking basically about shaft deflection here and if you go to um the shaft deflection line here you can kind of see um you know kind of, i'm taking the both in fact the shaft deflection basically is the the amount of lead or lag deflection uh that the club gets uh through the golf swing so we give it to you throughout the whole swing and you'll see after impact the club goes into lag and prior to the impact the club is always going to be be in lead deflection so that means the head is going to be in front of the center of the shaft and um, <clears throat> once the ball once the club hits the ball obviously it's going to kick the other direction but how much light lead deflection you get has a lot to do with um, what kind of golf club you should be playing if you're not aware of this information when you're giving a lesson and you don't know where the ball is precisely being hit on the face um, you could be very well fighting this golf club more than you are your student. Um, so knowing precisely where you're hitting it on the face, especially now that we've had our bulge and roll discussion and how important it is to know where the launch is coming from, um, we can really kind of go in and fine tune, see what's going on with this shaft and, and um, what, what your players are doing to it. Um, I'm gonna overlay these two golf clubs so this is basically both of them impact. So Curtis is in the blue. He leans the shaft way more forward. Lexi um, kind of pulls the shaft more up. And um, as you guys remember her swing, she stands really straight up and down. She uses a lot of the ground, vertical ground force to create that kind of whipping effect. Um, again, she's gonna have a much, um, uh, you know, a, a kind of a much more cracking the whip action. So let's take them both to the max club head speed that they get. It's like Lexi's top club head cl uh, grip speed is about right here. Mm, yeah, about right here. So this is the partner golf swing where the club reaches its highest grip speed. So she's really gonna stand, she's really gonna kind of crack that. And Curtis is basically about right, about right. Yeah, it's about about right in here. So this is basically when they both get to their max golf suite. So again, they're, they're swinging the club very differently. Curtis is obviously swinging it faster, but um, Lexi is actually offending the shaft more. And this is the exact same club, keep in mind this. So this is, this is kind of an important distinction um, going through the importance of, of really, uh, and I'm gonna overlay these guys on top of each other. So they definitely present the club to the ball very differently with the same exact club. Now, Deflection. Deflection is the amount in millimeters of lead or lag deflection. So I'm going to zoom in on these guys. We'll go kind of side by side here again. That is the amount of in millimeters how much the center of the head is off the uh, the shaft line. So that's what we're calling lead deflection. So here Lexi has 30 millimeters of lead deflection with an X flex. 8.5 driver okay 
and she has 41 millimeters of droop. So if we look at from this perspective, that's how much the shaft is drooping, okay? So if we look over here at Curtis, they basically, Curtis has the same amount of shaft droop, um, but, but Lexi has almost eight millimeters more deflection than does Curtis. So here's Curtis, you kind of see here, same golf club. So Lexi is basically offending the shaft more than Curtis is at 20 miles an hour or less club head speed. So this is an important distinction here. And um, you'll see here that this deflection is caused by several different things. With the same club though, um, what this deflection does, that shaft kick, so you'll see here that our previous video that she's in 0.75 millimeters of shaft kick. So this particular shaft, she is basically accelerating. The club is kind of still accelerating. So this club actually she felt was soft and her it felt kind of soft. Curtis has negative shaft kick with the same exact shaft at 120 miles per hour. So he is the club is actually on its deceleration. And he, when I asked him how this golf club felt, he said it actually feels pretty good. And I asked if it felt soft and he's like, no. So they feel two totally different things. Lexi plays a very stiff driver and um, Curtis does too, but um, they basically, uh, you know, move the shaft differently. So how do, how do we manage deflection? So the more shaft deflection we get, that's going to increase the angle of attack and it's gonna move the marks down on the face and it's gonna move the swing path more to the left for a right-handed player or more towards zero in this case. So she's hitting inside to out six degrees, up 3.2 degrees. So with this particular club, if I were to soften her club, um, what would happen is the deflection would go up, the ball mapping would go down, the swing path would get closer to zero, the angle of attack would go up, and um, the ball speed would actually go down, the ball would launch lower, and um, the spin would um, move a little bit too. Um, but we'd also probably start to get more kind of erratic movement on the face. T height plays a huge role in this. So if I had this exact same club and she made the exact same swing with the T higher, you know, and she didn't make any adjustments, then the launch conditions would be very different. So if I teed it higher and I soften this golf club, I might land right in the middle with more club head speed and more deflection and more angle of attack with the path a little bit to the left or more towards zero. Um, but chances are is I would I would really be sacrificing uh, consistent face mapping. So again, if your player can hit the same spot over and over and over again with a soft shaft, then that's great. And we can take advantage of the shaft flexing and the club head speed. But the chances are is that they can't and most people don't. I have yet to see evidence that very that that's a consistent pattern that people can go softer and still hit the same spot over and over again. Um, but I'm not perfect and I'm sure um, somebody could prove me wrong on that, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, so what you really are looking for is low deflection and you might have to adjust T height to accomplish what you're trying to do, but really the best players in the world and the most accurate players in the world have very low deflection and you'll see that we'll get into this droop and, and ratio in the next two videos, but we're really looking for low deflection. We don't want this shaft bending a lot. Uh, we want to keep it the same. We want to basically hit the same spot on the face every single time. And that's how we're going to get consistent ball speed and consistent launch and consistent trajectory and control. So that is shaft deflection. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this little video between uh, her Lexi and her brother Curtis. It's pretty cool.